played. Well, there's four with this one. And that'll have uh, given Tendulkar plenty of confidence. Brandis trying to pitch it short because he's seen Tendulkar come down the pitch in the previous over. But the Indian captain quickly transferring his weight onto the back foot, not really moving onto the back foot, just leaning back. And just as well, because that would have been four more. The fine leg went round to backward square, moved from the offside to the onside into mid wicket. So, again, good captaincy from Campbell. Got through the covers. Maybe two. So another good over for India. Eight off it. 28 for one. That's four more. Brilliant. Well, this is the shot of a genius. He's making a heat streak look like an off spinner. Heat streak is uh, by no means slow. He's down the pitch, the young man, and hitting him between the covers. Terrific shot once again. He's got away with that one. Doubt whether it'll go to the boundary. Halton giving chase. And they're coming back for the third run. And that was good cricket all the way through. The return was fair enough. They decided to go for the run. Andy Flower had his glove off ready, and as soon as it came into him, he realised he wasn't going to run out Dravid, so he was aiming at the non-striker's end. Well, well play. Play. four runs. It won't be four. Third man's got round, and only two. An indication of just how slow the outfield is. We need a few of these. A little bit of luck here. Ball just going off the edge. You might say, well, he tried to play it a little bit, but you try to get it off the face, run it off the face. If it goes off the edge for runs, it's a bonus. Magnificent shot. Absolutely dead straight back over the top. Well, there's not a lot I can say about that, but it was a good strike. Use of the feet, he's been trying to do that. Get away from it, get leg side, and hit it straight on the up. No ball, hammered away for four. This is a good over. You've got to say, it's exciting. You don't know what's coming next. I think he tried to bowl a slower ball there. Dragged it down, as well as actually overstepping the line for a no ball. And the slower ball just sat up. And he was able to pull it away. Doesn't need a second invitation either. In the air, but quite safe. Chase round for Rennie. Coming back for the second. And safely in. That's away. That's four. Incredible shot. Well, 61 for two. The 11th over was a good one. That's yeah. through. Coming back for the second. Only be two unless there's a mistake by the keeper. There isn't. So two more runs added to the total. Yes, it's uh, difficult to keep the cool as a batsman. And it's also a danger that the bowlers get caught up in all the excitement as well. And their concentration wavers. Well, that's what India need. They need uh, one or two of the Zimbabwe players to get a little bit rattled. But they've got to keep cool. It's a hard chase. They're going for it. 
on the throw is wild now that's the importance of running that first run quickly putting pressure on the fielder most unlike his streak he's got a good arm but just getting a little bit excited and a wayward throw means that they're absolutely safe so she's got to watch very carefully Well, nearly took Dravid's head off. He watched that one all right and picks up four runs. So Brown is coming back into the attack with an economy rate, if that's the right word, of seven and over. Immediately concedes a four. Yeah, juicy half volley there. Sashin getting away from the stumps. Brandy's trying to bowl a Yorker when he saw him get away, but it was a half volley and it was put away sweetly. over the top got away with it only just not that much room for error well, that is magnificent absolutely majestic oh it cleared the sight screen wonderful wonderful shot Again, same thing, Sashin moving away to leg stump, Brandy's trying to follow him, not getting the ball full enough. He's trying to follow Sashin into his feet, but you see he's finishing up on a decent length. If he's going to follow him, he's got to be right onto his toes, so he can't get the elevation. Rennie giving chase. And that's good running. That's something we haven't seen before from India, but there's a purpose about them now. They know exactly what they've got to do, which is why it was so important that they should bat second, in my opinion. Oh, I don't think India had any choice if they won the toss, but to bat second, whatever they did is going to be a tough ask. Oh, clipped off his legs. The timing there is incredible. There is a man at mid-wicket, and he's a tall man, but it just cleared him, and away it went. Well, it only just cleared him, but it cleared him with a lot of pace on it. It was beautifully timed, flipping it, and that's what I thought Azarudin should have played, that sort of shot. As is such a good player working it on the onside. I know he's a good cover driver, but when the ball's tending to swing into your legs, play with the swing, it's like a spin bowler. Play with the spin rather than against it. Settling for the single, the end of the over, 14 overs bowled, 93 for two. Stay there because everything depends on his inning. And this one's picking up uh, over mid-wicket. There should be two, at least three in this one. Good feeling by John Rennie. There's aggressive running here. So Tendulkar is uh, doing a wonderful job. It's good cricket. He played it, didn't really time it as well as he wanted to. But good feeling by Rennie running about 30 yards to his left. Much too short Whittle at his pace. And a great save there by Rennie. Beautifully put away. Not the greatest of deliveries from Evans. Two. Jadeja's going to go for it and we'll get there. Well, 150 up. That really is a magnificent century from Sachin Tendulkar. He really has played unbelievably. Brief look towards the heavens. The flags are flying all over the place. And Ralph, we have been treated to something really... If he is to take his side to victory, it will add to the aura.